even with all the pressures of school and uh, all the 101 other things he's involved with. And I think it's a wonderful, wonderful achievement and I hope very many more to come. lovely seeing the looks of delight as people walk into the space and I think there's a good reason for that. As, as the work started uh, developing, as one work led to another, I could see Spig really considering um, the dynamics of the compositions. So where something, where one piece might be really clustered, the next piece might find more spaciousness. So it's really, really looking and reflecting on his work, and I find that that quality of um, self-critique really, really fantastic uh, in an artist. His form creation also shows a real love of complexity, and if you go up to the pieces, you'll see all these tiny raised dots of colour. So he's pushing the brush into the panel and pulling it back, so it's stippling the colour in, and a lot of I've watched some of these start to develop, and the constructions sound like a surgeon. Like it, it's quite, they're microscopic almost, these constructions. And then they start to grow and bloom. And what Spiggy is showing us here is really a knowledge of how things uh, work in complement. So we see colour really singing uh, more richly because it's tempered in a lot of the space. And this ability to simplify the complex, I think is really important. And I think it shows a real understanding of, uh, of composition. Okay, I'd just like to thank everyone who helped me with this work, and in particular my parents, and everyone who helped along the way, and James, of course, for the help he's done just in teaching me the technique that I needed to be able to the things that I wanted.